here at World Headquarters. We're working on that uh, 82 Scotty. A little different. I'm not going to take you through the whole thing because you've seen me do this floor in the last 15 builds. But I want to show you what's different from the older Scotties that we've been doing. Usually, there's going to be some going across here, some braces. There's going to be that really long brace all the way back there, that one by... Well, it ends up to be two and a half to about right there. There'll be one right next to the rail. That's the, the ghost shadow where you can see where the rail, the metal of the uh, trailer is. But there'll be another one all the way down there. Uh, and this one will come up through here like normal. But then there'll be some going across. And uh, beside the rail, beside the rail, especially up front on these two rails, so just a little bit different. I just wanted to show it to you. Otherwise, it's pretty standard Scotty stuff. Down here, they've got, uh, well, there should be a an angle. Probably about 10 degrees, maybe a little more. You can see it a little better here. There's an angle there. So the angle on the front is these all Scotties goes up top. And then there's usually a one by four, but they started using plywood. I noticed that on this 82. A lot of plywood where one by four should be used. Um, and then the, on the back, the two by four are cut down. The angle is on the bottom. So we just got to keep that in mind as we go. But otherwise, pretty simple, pretty state straightforward. Those two nubs sticking out right there. That's for the step, and we've got to remember that. I gotta put that step on. She was pretty worried about that step. So I've got to take my measurements, look this over, and then I'm gonna put it over here. I got this three quarter. It was on sale at the, well, I shouldn't say on sale. It was still expensive. It was $56 a sheet. But this is the bottom side. This is the side. I would still use this side on the top normally. I mean, it's not, it looks, different but it's not it's not pitted out or anything but the top side is sanded and is beautiful but we're going to cover it up anyway so going to take this and if you can see those two by fours over there and i'm going to make this i may put it on a double time or maybe even on a time lapse just so you can follow along nothing nothing super special just a little bit different and then we'll uh we'll go on from there Couple of things I left out. Uh, I told you uh, this is like nine and a half feet long. I got the exact measurement. I'm going to show you here in a minute. But anyways, they went full four by eight sheet, full four by eight sheet, and then they cut off that last part. You can see it here. It's probably somewhere between 14 and 18 inches. So remember, they put this one on the back, on the back. And uh, if you remember, on that uh, 63 Shasta. They put it in the middle. I don't know why I liked that, but they did that this way. Probably nobody's going to stand on it here, really. And uh, it, this is not supported in any other way other than this. Um, this little piece right here, you see how that's cut out? Yeah, look, it cracked all over the place. Terrible design, but here's why they did it. Let's go out here real quick. So, if you see, they ran this piping right here for all the gas and everything and so that sticks up that's stuck up like that and they cut off most of this over here which if uh i'm not a carpenter but i do know carpenters and they will tell you that you just wasted this two inches right here because your wood is only as structurally strong as the smallest point which is that about a maybe a half inch at the best so what you get we're not going to do that we're going to take that piping off clean up the whole frame and then we'll we'll take care of this uh, but what i did want to show you get your pencil and paper out now well you don't care because you got to make your own measurements but here's what i did this is the back of the trailer front of the trailer um so this whole thing is 100 uh well Here's what I'm going to use. I told you about it earlier, but that's what it is. This is really nice plywood. I like it. They're not paying me, though. Anyway, the whole length of the floor, just the floor, 112 inches long. 
it is 74 inches wide. Wide, which is kind of weird. Not really. I mean, they made them really wide when they changed the style in 74. So I guess they shortened it back up when they changed in the 80s. Um, now from the back right here to the wheel well, 34 inches. The wheel well is 29 and three quarters and that should leave us 48 and a quarter. I'll go over those measurements again before I start cutting, but I like to make a little diagram like this so I don't have to go back and keep measure, keep measure. Um, this just gives me a reference. All right, let's get to work. As you'd been hurriedly watching, that's where we are. I would have kept going, except I am hungry and I gotta go eat some lunch. All I've got to do at this point is just add these two braces and that's because it was 16 inches, if you were wondering, from there to there. So that was an extra 16. So that's just to keep that from separating. Same thing over here. This is where our 48 break is. That's all that is. I'm not sure what this is up here, but we'll put it back in. That's not a big deal. We do it anyway. And then we got to remember, take care of our steps. She was very particular about those steps. So those steps are going back in. So I'm going to eat my lunch. I'll get this, uh, these little nubs put on here and uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, there's what we had. There's what we got. Isn't that just beautiful? Simple, simple design. And I did not forget that. So we can plug their steps in. It doesn't look right though. It looks too far apart. I better measure that. Does it or is it just because I'm sitting right here? I don't know. I'll measure, I'll measure. The reason these two random ones were up here is there is a carriage bolt that's gonna go through each one of them because otherwise there'll be a one by four going across. Love it though. Pretty simple design. Pretty simple design. I'm going to uh, bring the trailer in, see if we can't get this thing set on it. Um, been an early day. Uh, yet, last video, or I don't know what you're gonna see. I, Russ hasn't put together the edit, but the teardown, that you saw, that took me exactly five hours. So uh, I'm getting better at those. Not bad. Uh, start to finish on this was 2.5 hours. So I'm getting a little better at these too, especially when they throw me a couple of curveballs. But it was pretty easy right here. I'm just getting to where I know what to look for. You know, you do it enough times. Well, you know, wait till we put it together and. It's half inch off. No, no, no. I took good measurement. You remember. You remember. And I checked them. I just didn't show you. I didn't want you to think I was a goof. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's better. Got a little dust on there. I was doing something else. But, yeah. Let me, uh, let me see if I can't bring this trailer in. Let's see what it looks like on the deck. As you can see, I've done a little straightening up here at the uh, world headquarters. So I've got room and I've got the uh, floor put on. I'm telling you, that's just a gorgeous floor. It really is. I like it. I like it. It's got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's got 10 carriage bolts. 
one time I found that fascinating and I said it and somebody said, hey, thanks for telling me. So now I tell everybody. I don't know. It's like when I want to hear the weather report when we're on our lives. That's just me. Ten carriage bolts. And uh, so it's looking good. It's looking good. I'm happy with it. We got the... Uh, I mean, it looks like there's more carriage bolts, but those are just the carriage bolts that are holding on the step. We got a lot of sanding to do on that thing. A lot. We got a lot to do up here, too, before we get it painted and undercoat it and everything. But uh, very pleased with how it came out. It's a lot easier than I thought it would be. So we added... Just that 16 inches across the back, that's where they had added it. So, please, please, please. So, I'm going to go ahead and lay down the vinyl that the customer has chosen. And uh, that'll be the last thing I do today because I want it to be here all night and adhere as good as it can. Well, you know what this means. It's time to trim these out. And you know, when we were tearing down a few days ago, well, it's probably gonna be a week or two that you've seen. It's, it was just yesterday for me. Um, I thought the skin was in really good shape. It's terrible, terrible. Look at all the, just all of the seams. There's one seam down here for about three or four inches. The next seam is up about, I don't know, foot and a half. The next seam's up like another foot and a half. And we go up another foot and a half for about a 10-inch seam. Look at that. Look at that. I can't stand it. I cannot, cannot stand it. Why? I mean, did you get a... I mean, did, was it cheaper to buy 24-inch aluminum versus buying 4-foot aluminum? I don't know. I really don't know the answer. I'm not trying to be smart because I'm not. But why... That, that seems like so much work unless you're getting that stuff dirt cheap. But I've been finding a lot of that on this 82 model. And I, they didn't, I have to look it up and see when they went out of business. I know they had that fire, I think, in Pennsylvania in 82. This is from Pennsylvania, this, uh, this camper here. So I don't know. Maybe they knew they were going to have a fire and they just, you know, said, let's just use everything we got until the fire comes. That's, you know, I'm not saying anything because I don't know nothing about nothing. So don't, you know, you know what I'm saying, though. There's just no, I don't know what the reason to do this. Other than you save 15 cents. All right, I've already got this. I, I traced it out. I'm going to pull this off. You've seen me do it a hundred times. I'm going to pull this off. And then I'm going to come in one inch all the way around. Then I'm going to cut it out with my jigsaw because we need that top rail because if you built it to this and cut this out and then put the top rail on you just shorted yourself an inch on skin and uh you'll hate it when you go to put the skin on because you can't learn that lesson personally look at how much of this is missing for these gigantic windows i told you about a lot all right i'm gonna get to work and when i get this i'm gonna probably throw this stuff away early i can't stand it I cannot stand. That sun playing a little trick on you, making you think that that's still undone. It's not. It's just the sun. It's got a little drying still to do. That's why some parts look dark, some look light, but that's just the wood grain. It'll dry out very evenly. Wanted to show you where I was. You got to watch me work real fast today. You've seen this all. If you had any questions, you know how to reach me. That's no big secret, is it? So I just wanted to see where it... Look at this. Don't you just love that? Man, sit up and look at that all day. Love it, love it, love it. 
All right. I'll be back in a few days with something you're going to want to watch. Not that you didn't want to watch this. I'm sure you're just going to watch it again with the ads playing. You're awesome like that. All right, I'll be back.